David Glenda, it is indeed. A lot of people thinking about him, have him in his prayers, and Munson Medical Center says he is currently in critical condition. The high school basketball star overcame a dark past and was looking toward a bright future. In this YouTube video, Austin Hatch himself talks about his commitment to play basketball for the University of Michigan in 2013. You know, Coach Bion gave me a call around 1.45 this afternoon um, and offered me a scholarship to play basketball for him in the University of Michigan. But tragedy has struck twice in an ironic and ugly way for the Fort Wayne teen. Friday night, he was flying with his father and stepmother from Indiana to their summer home in Charlevoix. The single engine plane his father was piloting crashed into a garage in a residential neighborhood. I ran down there and I was about the second person there. And the other guy says, Don't get too close. He said, The plane fuel's running right out of the plane. It was running down the driveway and actually running down the street. The crash critically injured Austin and killed his father, Dr. Stephen Hatch, and his stepmother, Kim. We didn't see any movement or hear anything in the plane, so we just kind of. Um, stood back and we stopped traffic to keep cars from there to try not to get any spark. This is the second crash Austin has survived in the past eight years. In 2003, he was returning from the same Charlevoix summer home when his father crashed near Fort Wayne and killed his mother and two siblings. The FAA found Dr. Hatch responsible for the first crash partially, but friends disputed it. And U of M basketball coach John Beeline released this statement to us saying, We are saddened to hear about another tragedy that has affected the Hatch family. Austin needs as much support right now as possible, and I know he'll be in the thoughts and prayers of the Michigan family during this difficult time. Right now, we're live from Ann Arbor, Julie Bonovich, Channel 7 Action News.